Hey everybody, Elisa Stillwell Rogers here, back with Simply Southern Recipes by Rocket City Girls. Now, I have a garden. I do the raised garden boxes. Much easier, you don't have to weed, you don't have to stoop over, all that good stuff. Anyway, my garden has produced peppers like no other time I've ever planted them. I've got all these to get rid of do something with. So I thought, what better to do than make some stuffed green peppers? So that's what we're doing today. I've got all of these. The recipe is very, very simple. It's a pound of ground beef. To that, you add a fourth of a cup of some good steak marinade. Your half of a large yellow onion two stalks of celery diced. Both of these are diced. You put them all in one pan, cook them down till they're done. On the other side of the stove, we're gonna cook one cup of rice. That's all you'll need. Now once all this is done, the rice and the beef, then we'll mix everything else in it together and stuff our peppers. Let's get started. All right, guys, I got my pound of hamburger meat in there. You can use chuck if you want to, but this is what we had, so this is what we use. There is my fourth of a cup of a good steak marinade. That adds your saltiness and your garlic flavor. Of course, we'll add just a little more to enhance it. Now over here, I've got my cup of rice. That's all you're going to need because this swells up to twice the size. I've got it on high. Once it starts boiling, we'll reduce that heat and put it down on low and cover it so that the rice will fluff up. Now, once this starts getting hot, which you can tell it already is, I start kind of get it where it can brown really good. Like that. There we go. And of course I'll continue to do that while it's cooking. But half of a large yellow onion added. Two stalks of celery diced. Both of them are diced, of course. Now let me get this cooked down. This is coming to a boil right now. So what I'm going to do, cover it, turn it down on low, and we'll be back as soon as this is done. Meat is done. I add salt and pepper to taste. Everybody's different. Some people like more salt. Some people don't like as much. So that is all up to you. We do like ours peppery. As far as <coughs> the garlic powder, mine's a little clumpy. I think that the steam made it clumpy, but I'm doing, that's one teaspoon. Me, please two teaspoons okay. that's a good amount now as far as Italian seasoning I like to do 
two, that is if I have enough, well, we'll just have to go with one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Now, because I know how to make it, where is my basil? That's bay leaves, that's my oregano. Basil, there we go. Mm. Since we're out, I would put a tablespoon of the basil and a tablespoon of the oregano and mix this all up together. Let it cook down some because we got to get that garlic to mix up in there real good. There it goes. But I'm all about, you know, like if you have seasonings and stuff in your cupboard and you haven't used them, get them suckers out and use them. Then you can always replace them, you know. Grow you some like we do. I mean, we have a large garden and everything I need I get out of that garden and then I put it up for the winter time. And boy, does it come in handy. There we go. Now you do that. Now come back and I add my can of corn. This is 14.5 ounces of corn. Now the corn adds another depth of flavor, sweetness, and texture. So you need both. Now my rice is done. It's all nice and fluffy. See? I'm adding the rice. See, that's all you needed was that one cup of rice. Because all of this is going to be going in those peppers. And what I do is I get those little, um, let's see, like this, these little things, aluminum trays, and I put three peppers in each. I fix it up like I would normally do it and freeze them in my deep freeze and then when I'm craving a pepper or a pepper meal I just pull them out and put them in my oven on low until they cook completely through. I mean you don't even have to cook it's already done and it's so much healthier than buying TV dinners or banquet or something like that. Alright now Here's my 28 ounces of diced petite tomatoes. This will pull it all together for your stuffing. This stuff is, I mean, you can eat it just like this with a pan of cornbread. Yum! Hello! Maybe a cucumber salad. Okay, I'm gonna 
cook this down for 20 minutes until some of the juice from those tomatoes cooks off and evaporates. And then we're ready to stuff some peppers. Our next step, since our uh, mixture is done, stuff these peppers. I'm going to go ahead and stuff them. Press them as far in there as you can because you want them good and stuffed because when they warm up, that's what's going to penetrate out to the pepper and, and everything will just congeal together really nicely. Um, and then that, after that, we'll make the tomato gravy that goes over it. So let's get started on stuffing. We've got that much done. These are all stuffed. I had just enough left over for a helping. So I went ahead and just put it in the refrigerator in a Tupperware. Using the same saucepan that we use for the rice, I'm going to empty a 10.75 ounce can of tomato soup. This will become our gravy. Okay. Add my water. Okay. I don't add my water all the way to the top because I like it a little thick. Now, to this, I add a sprinkle of garlic all over the top, and then a dash of nutmeg. Now, you don't want to put too much nutmeg, just a dash, because it's very strong. Now, we'll get this nice and hot and then we'll pour it over these and they're ready to freeze. All right, so we got our tomato gravy done. These are all stuffed. What I do, I just start ladling it over each pepper. And I want a certain amount in the bottom. And if you have to make another can or you don't want to do this many, it's, you know, just judge it. Like that. These are all uh, filled, gravy over them, ready to put in the freezer. Or you can just have them for a meal tonight. Make you a little cornbread and a little cucumber salad or a little toss salad. Delicious. I mean, this recipe is delicious and it's cheap and it's easy. You can't beat that. So please um, like us, subscribe, share us with your friends and family. And I hope you enjoy this recipe and come back and see us again real soon. See ya.